Hi everybody, welcome to today's transmission. So we're going to bring through light codes today through light language and some visual light codes as well to really help you access that inner strength, that inner divine guidance, harness your gifts and bring them through in a tangible way into the world to create that desired lifestyle that perfect lifestyle that's that perfect fit for you and um so this uh reading started off with the strength card showing up every time i <laughs> i felt to pull a card whatever pack i was guided to the strength card came up so we've got three strength cards from different sets and what I understand about these is they're slightly different takes or bringing slightly different energies to the same theme. And so the first one I've understood to be the physical, mental, day-to-day -day reality. The second one is more the emotionals, the drive, the um, being swayed by your emotions and how to harness the right emotional state. And then the third one is the spiritual, what we're bringing in from our higher selves and our higher wisdom. In the middle, um, I've got this, um, I call them geometries, when objects with energy in get placed in certain ways to create a key or a code, which is similar to what we're doing with light language and light codes. Um, and your being understands this <laughs> at an unconscious level and it helps unlock and facilitate the healing and the activation. So I've got um, love, love, love with also um, these I've created with energy in myself. They're love heart shaped coasters. There's a rose quartz heart and they're being bridged by this these coasters that I've just made um, at the end I'll show you all the different products available with these energies in um, but that is a twin flame spiral which has an amazing magical story behind it and a tr transmission of its own um, and so the energies of that unity of moving as one of connecting all of our multi-dimensional parts and if you're not a twin flame, you can still use that in terms of balancing your masculine and feminine within yourself. And um, yeah, all those energies are then coming in. And then this is how it shows up on the ground in the day-to-day -day life is the Ace of Earth, which is the same as the Ace of Eight of Coins. And it's about landing that abundance in your life. And abundance isn't just wealth. It's emotional abundance, but it, it this is in the, the column of the physical day-to-day -day spectrum as well, the mental, what you see as success. Um, the second one is about the donkey who is very much about freedom and connection to loved ones, but has been very burdened. It's become a beast of burden, something that works for other people and this is very much about the challenges that um, we go through that our soul has chosen to go through to lead us to mastery but it feels burden from burdensome it feels really hard because it's not what we're trying to anchor but what we're trying to anchor what we're trying to bring into our lives our gifts our uniqueness that's all the burdens and the challenges we go through are the way we really learn about every spectrum of what that's not in order to really fully appreciate what it is that we're bringing in and that appreciation of it helps it land. Um, it, it On our soul path, we're here to master certain things and to do that, we need to learn the full spectrum of those themes. And then um, the last one, and this is in the spiritual level. So this is the spiritual column, which is gratitude, being grateful, energetically grateful for all it is that 
you have already for your gifts, for your connection, for everything you've been through, um, for where you've got yourself to. Um, but also gratitude for the things that you can't visibly see yet, but that you're bringing in, that you're landing, that you intend to bring in. So being grateful for already having those. It's like fast forwarding a bit into the place where you've got there and you've physically got this lifestyle that you're creating and being grateful that you've got it and being grateful that you're journeying there. So they're showing me in that middle column, which is the heart, the emotions, um, the donkey, the advice from the donkey, um, from everything that the donkey brings through its journey is keep your heart open no matter what. So in that middle column, and the strength is number 11, it is saying great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness and compassion. It's sending that forgiveness back to yourself as well for all the uh, decisions you've made that you feel have got you into places that you don't feel comfortable or you feel burdened or you feel overwhelmed or you don't want to be and understanding that you were at some level pushing yourself down a challenging path to grow from, to evolve you and to ultimately help you anchor that which you're here to bring within your own soul journey but also to bring those light codes and those energies and uh, that upliftment from the success that you have from overcoming those challenges into the collective energies. <laughs> I'm just noticing um, in the donkey card, it also talks about um, the role in Bethlehem with carrying Mary, pregnant Mary, to give birth to Jesus. And in the spiritual card there, we have a donkey in that card. So as the emphasis is on the donkey, I want to actually read that to you, but I want to read them in sequence because they f they all feel very significant and very perfectly placed and very much connected to each other. So in this first column, strength is number eight. Eight is abundance. Um, invisible force, gentle persuasion, compassion, confidence, courage, self-belief, infinite potential, personal power, influential and wisdom. It's really about harnessing that invisible force within you, that higher part of you and unifying that with your day-to-day -day decisions, your reactions, um, letting that um, kindness, softness, gentleness of spirit, that love, that life force move through you to govern and guide y your path forward and the way you respond to your environment and to what's coming at you. There's very much a um, slowing down. There's There's been a lot of guidance to slow down and really be present, really be fully present in the moment, um, feeling and reflecting on everything that's moving through you um, and focusing less on making fast strides forward and doing things very efficiently or um, doing the right and responsible thing towards someone else but really bringing that focus internally to self and to 
that inner guidance that knows that when you're really fully functioning from that loving, compassionate, confident, courageous space, letting that inform your decisions, that you're really taking your place in the collective energies. So what you're doing for yourself when you're following that truth is actually the truth for other people as well. Um, and that also enables you to give up over responsibility for others so that they can step into their own power. So it's very much about stepping into your own power and that's a gentle, loving, accepting and allowing power. Uh, it's also a trusting power because it allows you to let um, the higher plan work through you and around you and trust that when you're really grounded in your presence that those what unfolds can unfold magically and miraculously without you having to engage strategy and logic in the old way. Um, things seem to, synchronicities um, drop in and um, things magically get done without the effort that you needed in the other way of functioning, in the more mundane way of functioning you needed to exert help comes in from unforeseen places so how that's showing up on the ground is the ace of earth which is prosperity in its purest form concrete results in the physical world abundance made manifest i recognize the many forms of abundance and plenty and i align myself with success i can generate gold from the resources i have at my fingertips I make an impact. The essence of prosperity is taking form in the material world. Um, and then the donkey. Donkeys came from Sirius, first incarnating as the wild uh, asses who roamed in huge herds in the wilds of Mesopotamia. Their souls desired to experience freedom, endurance and companionship. Later, when many were captured, domesticated and put to work by humans, they became known as donkeys. They still endure separation from their loved ones, burdensome work and often humiliation, and this life is a challenging initiation for them. Archangel Mary is with them, helping them to keep their hearts open. Archangel Gabriel also encourages and helps them. He will assist you with your tests in life if you connect energetically to a donkey. Donkeys are the animal representation of the brotherhood of the golden robe, those who clear planetary karma through their own energy systems to help the world. Your gratitude supports them. The spiritual hierarchy chose this humble animal to carry the Virgin Mary to Bethlehem in order to acknowledge and reward it. This card indicates you've been through or are still undergoing some sort of test or initiation. You may feel it's been unfair, but your soul undertook it to advance you to a higher spiritual level. Such challenges help you to develop qualities of patience, forbearance and courage. Accept this. Stay centred, calm and keep your heart open. Use all experiences to strengthen yourself and you will move into a higher spiritual level. Then everything will feel worthwhile as you will see with enlightened eyes. When you pass initiation, you're always rewarded, so something much better is coming into your life. When you receive this card, Archangels Mary and Gabriel touch you with love and encouragement. So, yeah, that is really... Sorry, there's light, there's light codes coming through, so that's why I'm a bit silent as they come in. Um, so basically really receiving that help from Archangels Mary and Gabriel, but also honouring yourself and the gratitude for yourself where you are doing your work to elevate the collective and understanding that there are rewards coming um, and that you you are graduating from an initiation that is moving you upwards and uplifting you. And as you're up, being uplifted, your new gifts are coming in. So I've had a lot of messages 
around these new gifts coming in in April. And we, of course, have the Aries um, solar eclipse um, on the 8th of April, which is something that's been talked about a lot as a big event um, where we're really releasing things from the past and shifting upwards into new... I'm hearing new strength, new agility, um, new abundance, new lifestyles and a harnessing of new gifts in the world in a new way previously unconceived of. So the gratitude list, counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centred in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of this universe. So I feel also to, to um, really bring that higher spiritual gratitude um, which is in the, the card above that and I've got the um, dragon's egg crystal above that signifying pineal activation it has some pineal activation codes in it um, so this is or origins of light connect to the inner strength of your spirit and face challenges with courage it's really getting this strong sense that what you're overcoming right now what you're letting go of that's hard to let go. Um, and I'm particularly feeling survival mentality, survival mechanisms, survival actions, survival decisions, making decisions from the ground, from um, lack, from a struggle. Um, when we can really release those, and a lot of these are tied into past lifetimes and other realities, um, yeah, I'm feeling those shifting out now. Um, and I'm feeling the do donkey really helping facilitate that shifting out of burden and survival. And we can elevate to that gratitude. Um, then, yeah, this, this as this energy comes in that we're bringing in now, this higher energy of gratitude, it's clearing out that karma, it's clearing out those ways of behaving and it's bringing in that abundance um the abundant lifestyle what is abundance to you not what is success from others perspectives the teaching here is of inner strength when you connect with your spirit to overcome any obstacle the stamina and persistence you need are sourced from your commitment to something profound and divine it's really connecting to that um, divine purpose what you're here for but not just what you're here for in your service work but what you're here for because your soul wants to experience it your soul wants to master it quiet composure calm and patience are combined with personal power and deep inner confidence to walk through the metaphorical fire even if it seems scary this archetype may be called in for your current situation or as a solid supporter for someone else going through the challenges. If you do not feel you have these capabilities, this card inspires you to find that sun inside yourself, encouraging you to persevere. It calls you to lead without excessive outward force. There's so much courage and gentleness in this message coming through. And if you're really sensitive to energy, you can feel that energy coming in. I can feel it. Discover tools that support you to call on what you know. Restore balance with ease and help you to re-energize. Perhaps expand your repertoire and explore new methods of strengthening your inner core to help maintain a calm and a peaceful exterior in times of challenge. So I feel it's just really encouraging to access the courage, the courage inside your heart. And because... Inside your heart and your soul, you know you're powerful. You know you're ultimately powerful. Um, and the way to access that power is to eliminate all the external voices. 
So any practices that bring you into connection to your soul and your innate power, they give you the courage, but the courage with gentleness. There's no need to railroad over anyone else's ideas or thoughts or impressions or criticisms. You can receive those with love, even if you don't agree with them. Avoid anything that suppresses your true nature. This will only take you further away from what you're cultivating. Add meditation practices or other means of finding your center. Accessing more of your life force energy will help you maintain the strength and confidence required to overcome this challenge. Know that any extra time it takes to succeed will afford you more energy and efficiency and in turn gift you back more than it took to begin with. And I really feel that's coming overcoming those programs that are faster, more action, do, need. If I don't do this, I won't be meeting my responsibilities or I won't be able to pay my bills. No, the more you can access that higher self, your higher gifts, your higher knowledge, that gentleness, that trust in yourself to take you where you need to go your way, the more you can access that and embody that in every moment by receiving yourself, knowing yourself, letting yourself guide you rather than the programs. Actually, the more traction you'll get, and even if it feels like it takes time to do that um, and it slows you down or it takes you off the track you were on, that's perfect because it's putting you on the track you need to be on and that track is the more abundant one. So just accessing the gratitude codes now. We're healing that donkey, that responsible, burdened donkey that's been going through an obstacle course, an initiation. But is fully seen by the guides and the angels and acknowledged and loved and rewarded. I'm really feeling that being seen. You're not alone. I'm feeling the neck and the throat being aligned, cleared, activated. It's almost like the bottleneck where um, all the thoughts and the pressures have accumulated at the neck. Um, that, that are affecting your ability to say yes or no or make a clear decision. And that's also where our throat chakra is, which is our truth, our spiritual truth of who we are. Akatatatatatata, expressing it, knowing it, living it. Okay, now we're moving down to the soul seat, the high heart. Yeah, just where, I'm just seeing where that, um, activation is in the donkey. That's where we are. That point of light in the donkey's chest. Clearing through the digestive system where we've taken in and absorbed into our bodies things that may have been toxic and I don't just mean at a physical level I also mean at emotional mental level feeling the feminine side the divine flow the creative flowing receptive side open up and activate and the hands come out in a receptive open mode the whole midline lighting up and receiving light codes just like the origins of light card there 
like a ta 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 ta, which is also an eight. So we've got three strength cards. One's an eight. One's an eleven. One's an eight. So I'm feeling the hands now placed over the soul seed area, the thymus area, high heart, and then opening up, coming forward and lifting up to receive, up above the head to receive that light, gratitude and strength and divine wisdom um, that's in the very top point of light in that orange of light card and receive that and bring it down through the whole being into the energy field down into the earth grids and expanding throughout the whole energy field here we go namaste hands so all of that drops, those light coats drop into the being, into the earth star chakra. Then the namaste hands point downwards as those anchor down, down deep into the earth. And I'm hearing strength embodied right down to the 3D level now, right down into the day to day embodiment and the donkey I'm seeing it elevate and ascend and burst into spirit indicating the struggle is over the initiation is over you can now move up into that new world that you're creating from a higher perspective of gratitude, compassion, inner strength, and divine empowerment. Okay, everyone. So what you might find calming out is anything that is a burden that's overwhelming, where it's confusing, you don't know which direction to take, or you feel like um, taking action from a a survival level mode I have to <laughs> um, all of that is just coming up to come out it's just shifting out just watch it as it goes bring that gratitude in grateful for the lessons grateful for the learnings grateful for getting you to this point of initiation where you can step up and graduate into more of who you really are and activate that in your life with ease and grace and less struggle so if you would like to know about the art products just um stick around these are otherwise blessings and i will see you next transmission so uh these are some of the um activated creations I've made so that you can receive the light codes every day all the time um, in your own life rather than just through the transmissions so I'm creating these um, they're activated with energy codes through these transmissions but also through the creation process and I've noticed um very loudly for many years that they share their codes with whatever is in their environment whatever comes into their energy field even if they're just on the computer screen or even if they're in a print or printed onto something and that has enabled me to um, come up with some really beautiful and practical ways to share the light codes and I'm just in the process of also creating websites to make it easier for people to access these and putting them on platforms like Amazon and Etsy as well.
So check in the description box for those links. But um, yeah, basically they're on coasters which can be used to charge objects. You can put crystals on them or jewellery or your face creams or anything like that or food or drink. And then you they will share the codes into those things. And then if you're eating or drinking those foods or wearing that jewellery, you're receiving them through through those ways. Um, there's also mugs, water bottles, prints. Um, you can have them up um, doing printed canvases, so you can have them up in your um, altar or in your home and be re be receiving those codes all the time, um, unconsciously just by having them around or consciously by um, visually receiving them um, as a conscious process. So this particular example here are the twin flame unity spiral. Um, I'll put the link for that transmission down below if you want to know more about that. Um, but I have artworks dating back um, 15 or more years that all have um, various forms of light codes in them to assist with ascension and healing and twin flame journey so thanks for listening to the end and i'll see you next time blessings